as you might be able to see here, this Allied power supply, which doesn't have very good power on the 12 volt rail, is functioning quite badly as the CPU is going under load and out of load, as you might be able to hear. This CPU is a Pentium 4 2.4 gig Northwood CPU. The computer has 512 megabytes of RAM. And as you can hear and as you can see on the multimeter, the 12 volt rail is going between 1.6 volts and 12 volts. This power supply was manufactured in 2001 and it's barely been used. As a matter of fact, the, the power supply came out of two. This is one of two power supplies out of two server cases that I got at the yard sale for really cheap. They were still brand new in the box in the shrink wrap. The cases and power supplies have never, be, never even been used. The power supply here was manufactured on manufactured in August of 2001. You might be able to see, I'm not sure. Anyways, this is back in the day when Pentium 4s were just starting to come out. So the 12 volt rail didn't have much power output on it. The power output was mainly on the 3.3 volt rail and the 5 volt rail. As you might be able to see here, the 5 volt rail is 30 amps and the 3.3 volt rail is 20 amps. This is an older ATX spec seeing it has the minus 5 volt rail included. Everything else is pretty much typical except for that 12 volt rail of only 10 amps which can only output 120 watts. So I'm going to go ahead and swap out this power supply. This was one of my refurb systems and I'm going to go ahead and switch the power supply on it. Even though this is a brand new power supply, it's not really adequate for this machine. It's more or less a new old stock power supply, which, I mean, this is a pretty basic computer. It only has a 40 gig hard drive in it and one optical drive. That's basically it. Pretty basic Pentium 4. And this 300 watt Allied cannot supply enough power. There's a newer version of this power supply I think it's um, not exactly sure the, the model of it, but it's slightly different. It has more power on the 12 volt rail, and that particular power supply operates a Pentium 4 system just fine. Anyways, this is a general idea of why it's important to have the right kind of power supply and the right kind of computer. Just an example, anyway. Any questions or comments? Let me know.